welcome to my homemade flux capacitor. It's made out of wood and it's motion activated. So when you move, it will automatically turn on. The outside case, it's made out of wood. I didn't want to spend $125 to buy a real one. Up here we have just PVC pipe that I spray painted black. Vintage 80s stickers, they actually have a texture. Molding from McMaster car, plexiglass. And down here, we actually have a sign by Christopher Lloyd. I got to meet him. Over on this side, if we pull this side off, it's just a friction fit. There's dip switches in there. And those dip switches allow you to choose different modes of how it runs. So it's got four different programs inside. All right, and then down underneath here, right up there, is the motion sensor. When you walk by, it will activate it and trip it, and it will come on. I have it hanging on the wall next to my Ghostbuster backpack. It took me about 30 hours to build a flux capacitor, and 20 hours to program the Arduino. And the Ghostbuster backpack, I have over 100 hours into. Now, if I wave my hand. Plus the pastor will turn back on. Alright, so here we are. I'm going to take it apart and see what the insides look like. Once again, if you move near the front, it will turn on. And if you pull this side piece off, we can change the settings. So I'm going to flip the switch, from that, we'll just leave it on a steady on. Alright, so when it runs through its code, it's going to go to a steady on. Now, of course, the real one wasn't put together with screws on the front. And right here, you can see the signature by Christopher Lloyd. So we'll set that aside. And inside of here we have the flux capacitor part so we can lift this up. It's just held in with friction. And on the back side you can see all the wiring for it. Alright, so we have LEDs here. Each LED gets its own resistor. And here's an Arduino. If you want, there's a 9 volt plug, so you can run off a of 9 volts if you want to take it with you. And what we're going to do now is we're going to unplug the system. Alright, so we got everything all unhooked. And this actually will lift up now. Here's our motion sensor. I took the lens off it so you can see the inside. Here's the plug for it. And what I did on here is I took all these wires and I put them together in a nice female plug so it's real easy put it together or take it apart. All right, here's our Arduino board. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this apart. So I bought these on Amazon, and they allow you to hook multiple wires very easily, plug them in. And then that is your Arduino, where the programming is. It took about 20 hours to program the little Arduino, and then about six hours to do all these little connections to solder everything up. All right. If I flip this over, this side is the inner parts. These are made out of wood. These are just banana connectors off of Amazon. I bought these acrylic spheres off eBay. This is acrylic tubing with a piece of steel. And these all came from one single acrylic piece that I cut up and then had to pop. Right. These are all spark plug wires that I bought on Amazon and it's just mounted to a piece of masonite. So, get it all put back together. 